This is Mike Dallas and Louis. Leave me in the ring back home. I'm here with Mike Dallas. Mike, you have a big fight coming up later this month against Josecito Lopez. Tell me a little bit about that fight. Yeah, you know, it's my biggest fight in my career, but you know, I'm ready to rock and roll. You know what I mean? I had a hard training camp, tired of training. I'm just ready to get in the ring and do what I do best. That's box. Now, Josecito Lopez is looking pretty dangerous right now. Uh, his last couple of fights, he took, he took an 11-month layoff because he was getting everything together, but the last two fights, he's looked really good. What, are you are you concerned with anything that he brings I'm to the not, table? I'm not concerned, you know what I mean? Uh, I've seen his style, you know what I mean? It just, I know how to fight my fight, and I'm going to fight my fight. Now, tell me a little bit about your training camp, your training sessions that you've been doing, preparing for this fight. Uh, I've been sporting a lot of good guys, you know, Ty Barnett, Omar Henry came in once, you know what I mean? I'm bringing Fernando Guerrero in to pressure me a little. But it's been good. And, you know, They've been working me deaf, and you know, I'm ready to show it in the ring. Now, Jose Lopez has been known to kind of be a slow starter. Is that something you're going to look to take advantage of? Uh, you know, if he starts slow, I'm, it's whatever. I'm, I'm adapt to him. You know, I'm, I adapt to people real good, and I'm just predicting fights. I feel I'm real confident going in there, and I just got to do my best. Now, you guys are both uh, promoted by Goose and Tudor. A lot of people are saying this is a fight where Goose and Tudor is putting their two best prospects together, going to let them go toe to toe, and the winner's gonna pretty much going to be pushed ahead. The loser's going to start to stick at their back. Uh, he ain't really like he a prospect. You know, he's been in the game for a long time. He's been a pro for a long time. So, if anything, you know what I mean? I thought he would be fighting people, you know what I mean, more up there, but I'm, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready to do my thing, and uh, I'm younger, and I'm fight, I'm fight, fight, fight very smart in this fight. Now, if you're able to get past Jose de Lopez, what do you, what do you, your camp looking to do? Not looking ahead, but if you were, but what are you guys looking to do? Yeah, I'm focused on this fight right now, but other heads, bigger fights. That's all. That's all that can come after a fight like this, bigger fights, and I'll be ready. Now, the last thing I have to say is we went to see Jose de Lopez at training camp. I did an interview with him, and he said, I mean, he, he put the video out there. He said, and just pretty much quoting him, I'm sorry, Mike Dallas, but I'm going to have to beat you, and you're going you're to have to take a step back like I once did. How does that make you feel him saying that? I'm not really worried what he got to say. We do it all in the ring. I mean, I don't, they call me silent assassin. You know, I don't do too much talking, but we see in the ring. You know, I'm not gonna, he took a step back. That don't mean I'm going to take a step back. And I'm a different fighter in that fight. You know, two way, two different styles. And first of all, I don't think he ever fought nobody like me. So we see in the ring. That ain't between that. Now, how does it feel, too? You've been on Showbox, and now you're going to be on ESPN Friday Night Fights. This could be a big step forward. You know, you could be on HBO maybe next time. How does that make you feel? Just growing. Young. I'm very young, you know, just growing in the sport, and bigger and better things is to come. Now, what's one thing you have to say to all your fans to go down there? Go to Pachanga, check you out. What do you have to say to them? I just want everybody to come out. You know, I'm going to try to give you guys an exciting fight like always and come up with the victory. Thank you very much, Mike.